and uh, what I've been looking at is a free issue signal that we've got. We're sitting in it now, and it, it comes from the interaction of the solar wind with the Earth's magnetic field, and all the geophysicists here, or most of you are, I think, uh, their magnetotonic fields, or MT fields, is important in short. So, I've been working on the idea of using these MT fields in an airborne system. And uh, what is very interesting is that the MT fields generate in the ground toroidic currents, very well known. And the prime source of the signal, or the most important part of the signal I'm looking at, is not in the magnetic field, but in the electric field. Now, I've been, the electric field has been somewhat neglected in, in non-contact geophysics, or other words, airborne geophysics. But if anything, there's more information in the electric field than there is in the magnetic field. But you need to have them both. But um, the, this information is really based upon the charge effects that occur in the ground. What's happening is, is that the MT field, the magnetic fields that hit the Earth, and they induce these so-called turbulent currents. And when you go down to frequencies like um, 0.1 hertz or 0.5 hertz, 1 hertz, 2 hertz, 3 hertz, so very low frequencies, those NT fields induce currents that go down to depths like 20,000 feet in the ground. And they're very strong at the low frequencies.